March 11, 2019 will mark the eighth year since the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station accident. This past year, we have moved steadily forward with decommissioning with the cooperation of a great many people, but there have also been challenges. This video will introduce the major events that have happened at Fukushima Daiichi over the last year. March 2018. The Inside Fukushima Daiichi online virtual tour enables viewers to see the site of decommissioning as if they were actually there. Along with 360 panorama views, a Q&A section provides easy to understand information. April. The use of self-driving EV buses begins to improve site infrastructure and make decommissioning even smoother. The experience gained with self-driving EV buses shall contribute in the future to transportation services in the Hamadori region. May. At the time of the accident, workers had to wear protective clothing and full face masks in every area of the power station. However, as a result of such efforts as the ground surface paving, the area where workers can wear regular uniforms has expanded to 96% of the entire site. August. TEPCO is heavily criticized by society for not sufficiently explaining that the treated water stored in tanks on site, which is the product of the purification of highly contaminated water, still contains concentrations of radioactive materials that exceed government standards for discharge into the environment. In light of this, a treated water internet portal site was created in December to explain the situation in an easy-to-understand manner. The content of this site will be continually developed and improved so as to answer questions and alleviate concerns. November. The treated water that generated by removing radioactive materials in stages from the highly contaminated water is stored in tanks at site. Among them, the treated water that contains more concentrations of radioactive materials transported to more reliable welded type tanks that reduce the risk of leakage. In the same month, the planned removal of fuel from the Unit 3 spent fuel pool is postponed due to non-conformances during equipment testing and the subsequent decision to perform safety inspections to identify non-conformance risks. In the same month, the TEPCO Decommissioning Archive Center is opened to convey the facts of the accident and explain the current conditions at the site of decommissioning. It will preserve the memories and records of the accident and convey the regrets and lessons learned to people both within and outside of the company. February 2019. The survey for measuring dose level of the top floor of the Unit 2 reactor building that was conducted in stages concluded. The information obtained will be leveraged to plan the dismantling of the top of the reactor building. In the same month, an investigation to touch deposits, which might be fuel debris, is performed to check the hardness and frailty, etc. of these deposits for the first time and obtain the new information. The information obtained will be leveraged to plan future investigations. In collaboration with multiple domestic and international partners, TEPCO will implement the decommissioning work safely and steadily for the Fukushima recovery and bring peace of mind to the residents of the region and society as a whole. <laughs>